Chesapeake Bay soft shells, they say, are simply divine. It's time to let go, let your palate wander. Tell them, please bring on the feast. Great times, great food, great taste, great chefs of the East. Welcome to Great Chefs of the East. A celebration of regional cookery featuring some of the leading chefs from the East and Northeast. This time from New Marlboro, Massachusetts. An appetizer by Christopher Capstick. From Boston, an entree by Lydia Shire. And from New York City, dessert by Dan Rundell. The kitchen at Biba in Boston is seemingly always churning. That tends to be the style of chef owner Lydia Shire. She has earned numerous awards, including Best Chef of the Northeast by the James Beard Foundation. Assisted by her sous chef, Susan Regis, she presents an eclectic entree, lobster crisp in water chestnut flour with salmon and tuna. This is, this is the sauce as we have pretty much started it. Um, in the recipe, you'll notice that we uh, start out by sauteing a few shallots. Um, we have a fish bone in here, um, some lobster bodies that we saute separately. We deglaze the pan with a little white wine. We have our, shell, uh, our scallion, cilantro. We put a very little bit of our red curry paste in. And uh, we take a fresh coconut and we grind the, the meat of the coconut. And we put some of the coconut milk into it, which is it's actually not a milk, it's the liquid. And uh, here for a little garnish afterwards, Susan will show you how she shreds some uh, coconut here. Um, this is our marinade for the tuna and the salmon bellies. And this is our uh, water chestnut and scallion um, powder for deep frying it. About two ounces of tuna Probably, belly uh, is marinated in the soy sauce soy. mixture. The chef now prepares salmon belly. And so of course we scale it. And uh, then we would cut this again into kind of a kind of a pretty cut over here. So in the end, of course, we're serving something that's about two or three ounces. And the final seafood component is skewered lobster. So here I've blanched the lobster for um, a one pound cull takes about four minutes, no more than three to four minutes in boiling water. And we shock it in some cold water. And so it's clearly underdone, uh, if your camera can see. But it's going to get deep fried, and so we obviously want it a little underdone. Susan is going to show you how we make a little tempura batter. Um, to dip the lobster in uh, before we put it in in the water chestnut flour. Okay, okay. Susie. Um, what I have here is one egg white and one whole egg. And to that I'm going to add some ice. And some soda water. Um, basically, I'm doing, I guess, a Japanese technique of making tempura, which is very, very simple. And the trick is not to mix the ingredients very much. You keep it, the Japanese actually use chopsticks so that it stays lumpy and you're not over mixing it. And the soda water gives it an extra 
sort of lightness because of the effervescent in the in the water. Would that be the bicarbonate? The bicarbonate. Yes, yeah, I guess. Bicarbonate. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to use about two parts flour and one part cornstarch. So. And lumps are good. We've mentioned yeah. that before. Oh, yes. But once again, yeah. lumps lumps are good. Uh, the consistency should be that to like barely coat your finger, so it needs a smidge more. This is a very light coating for the lobster as opposed to something for a vegetable maybe a little bit heavier um, because it's going from the tempura batter into the flour, so it's, right. it's just a very light coating. Uh, this only stays in a marinade for no more than five minutes, even less. Um, could be three minutes. Uh, soy, because of its um, soy, can actually cook, so that's why it has to be very quick in and out. The tuna and salmon so bellies are sauteed in peanut oil. The salmon will take longer to cook. Um, once you once you put something into a pan, it's very important not to move it because that's where you're going to get your brown and your crust. Uh, so you'll notice, um, we don't shake the pan, we, we let it sit. Lightly dip the lobster into the tempura batter and then into the flour and, and quick fry it for just uh, a you're minute. You're going to do both, Susan, right? Because right, we can show how right. each looks on the yeah. plate. The lobster is deep fried until golden brown. All right, I'm going to flip it just to warm the bottom. Yeah. Nice. See, now that's perfect. I don't know if you can see here, but the skin is actually starting to bubble because we took our time and we did it slowly, and we really let the skin get nice and crispy without burning it. Blue greens are quickly sauteed. In there we go. Oil. Susie put the garlic in first to, to flavor the oil, actually, but obviously burned garlic is the worst to eat, and so we're flipping it on top of the pea greens for a second so we don't overcook that. So, again, we're looking for as much height as we can get. Leave the white plate showing. Um, here we have our deep fried lobster. You'll see how, how lightly it's coated, but it's crispy. But you see the lobster through it. It's it's not. Um, might want to put this over here. This is a little dipping sauce that we've done. Oh, actually, I, I didn't mention that in this soy marinade for the for the tuna bellies, the salmon belly. This is just soy, mirin, ginger, and garlic. And we actually use the same one for the dipping sauce, but we put a little tiny dice of carrot in there and a little bit of uh, scallion. And this we put just a spoonful over there to gild the lily. We have a little creme fraiche with wasabi. Acid content. Finally, the seafood sauce was strained and lime juice is added. And, uh, no, it still has some of the lumps of the coconut. When we strain the sauce, we do it through a, a uh, Kind of a large hole strainer because um, we like texture. Creek, Chardonnay. Great chefs of the East. 